Hey everyone, CNC Keith here with yet again another CNC DIY video. In this video, I'm going to go over how to set up touch probes using Centroid version 4.18 CNC 12 software. Alrighty, let's check it out. I've got my particular machine here set up right now, just like a typical CNC router would with uh, auto squaring all set up and working and what I want to do now is add both a touch probe and a tool touch off device and my tool touch off device is just a plate of aluminum that I'm also going to use as a surface plate to determine part zero the top of the work easily as well alrighty the very first thing you want to do is determine where you want to wire the touch probes now there's some really great schematics on the Centroid webpage and that'll show you how and where to wire all the touch probes. If you go to the Acorn webpage and scroll down, be sure to be clicking this Acorn CNC controller hookup schematics. Download that zip file and open up the ones related to touch probes. Touch probes are very simple to wire. And I'm going to go ahead and wire my touch probe into input 3. So I'm going to use the drop down box here to select probe tripped. This is the tripped signal that I'm wiring into input 3. So when the probe is triggered, when it's touching something, this is the wire from the probe that sends that signal. Right now it's asking me if I'd like to go to the probe setup menu. I'm just going to say no to that right now and we'll revisit that in a second. Next thing I want to do is on input 4, I'm going to wire my probe detection circuit. Now this circuit, this input, is determined, determines whether the probe is plugged in or not. This lets CNC12 know that you actually have a touch probe plugged in and in use. What it does is turns on uh, probe protection features when the probe is accidentally tripped uh, while jogging to try to protect you from crashing your probe or turning your spindle on when the probe is in the spindle. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wire that detect signal. And again, back to the schematics, we'll show you all the typical setups uh, and wiring for probes. So highly recommend going back to those and checking them out if you're not familiar with this probe circuitry. Um, the next thing I want to do is there's a free input here number six I'm gonna wire in my tool touch off triggered signal into number six and I'm gonna go ahead and say yes to would you like to visit the tool touch off configuration menu okay at the top of the menu it's letting me know that I have told it that I have this tool touch off wired into input six and the next question is it's asking me what type of tool touch off do you have well Mine's just a plate of aluminum, so it's a conductive tool touch off. The next question is really important, and I want you to click on this uh, document here, Acorn Probe Setup, and read everything in this document because it fully describes the definitions of a normally open and normally closed probe. Uh, and it gives you here on page three a really nice, easy test to determine what type of probe that you have. And I'm going to go over that very quickly here, but all the details are right here explained in this probe setup document. Alrighty, what it's asking for is what is the input state when this tool touch off is tripped. So when a tool is touching the tool touch off, whether this is a surface plate or an actual TT device, what is the input state? Was Is the input closed or opened? So that's what it wants to know. And if you don't know the answer to that question, there's an easy test you can do. You can go back to the main screen and hit Alt-I. And then here in the upper left of the screen is our first eight inputs. And you notice as I uh, come across here, there's no labels down at the bottom. Well, that's because I haven't saved anything in the wizard. But I know that I set, if I go back to the wizard, I know that I set tool touch off triggered to input six. So what I'm gonna do is move the cursor over to input six and I'm going to trigger input six right now. Whoops, I'm um, input five is where I have it wired. Alrighty, well that's a good test right there to make sure that whether you have it wired into the right input or not. So I accidentally wired my tool touch off into input five. So I'm moving it now over to input 
six. Input five still lit because I'm connected to a, a G540 and that input is being used by the DB25. Okay, so let's go ahead and trigger input six. So right now it's not triggered and now it's triggered. Not triggered, now it's triggered. Triggered meaning that the tool is touching it. So it is green when the tool is touching it. So if I go back to the Acorn Wizard, input state okay when it's green that means it's closed and that definition is right here in the probe setup document let you know that so I want to by definition can all conductive probes are closed when they are tripped but if you had a mechanical probe such as a cheap Chinese one or a good high quality centroid TT2 you could do this same test. So is it a normally open mechanical probe or a normally closed one? So the conductive is considered a normally open. It's normally open and then when it is triggered, when, it, when it's tripped, then it closes the signal. Okay, the next thing is having to do with uh, subtracting the height of the tool touch off device um, you can say yes or no to this depending on how you have things set up um, and whether you want to use the tool touch off device as a z reference point um, that's pretty common to do that and certainly put in the height of your tool touch off device okay now let's go over to the probe setup similar questions here what type of probe do you have is it a conductive probe a centroid dp4 or a mechanical probe well, if it's a mechanical probe, um, a lot of mechanical probes are normally closed. They're closed. Uh, the input is closed when the probe is not tripped. So in this case, it would be when the probe's tripped, the, it is open. Well, again, if you're not sure, it's an easy test. Um, all you have to do is go back to that Alt-I screen. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to plug my probe in, in here and we're going to go over to the alt i screen and check it out. So just remember we have tripped into three and probe detect on four. So I'm going to go ahead and let's go back to the alt i screen. So tripped is three and detect is four. So right now it's tripped and the detection is on. So I'm going to go ahead and trigger my probe. So I'm going to trigger the probe. Okay, there it is. Tripped, not tripped. Tripped, not tripped. So this particular probe is also normally open. So in other words, it closes the input. It makes the input go green when it's tripped. Now, Let's hook up a typical mechanical probe that is closed all the time. Okay, so here we have a Chinese mechanical probe or one of the other inexpensive home-built ones that you can find online. And it is closed all the time. And when you trip it, I'm tripping it now, it turns red. Untrip it, it's back to green. Trip it, it's red. Untrip it, it's back to green. So in this case, if we're using a mechanical probe, it opens the circuit, it opens the input when it's tripped. And then you come on down and you fill out the rest of the information here having to do with probing. You hit right settings to CNC control. Follow the directions on the screen to reboot the Acorn board. And what it's doing is it's automatically setting all the parameters for you to get the probes set up and working in both the PLC program and CNC 12. Okay, I've re rebooted CNC 12. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Alt-I screen and let's take a look at what it did. So now you can see right here the label shows up for the input because the PLC program has been programmed by the wizard. So number three is probe tripped. Number four is the detect signal that lets us know whether it's plugged in or not. And number six is the tool touch off triggered input. Alrighty, let's go ahead and trip now 
the probe. And you'll notice that it turns green when it's tripped, but look closely, it has a line above it. So that means that that input has been inverted. It's been inverted to support a mechanical probe that is normally closed and opens the circuit. I'm now tripped. I'm not tripped. Tripped. Not tripped. Well, let's do the same thing for input six. I'm not tripped right now, and I'm going to trip it. There it goes. Tripped, not tripped. Tripped, not tripped. And all this is covered again in the probe setup document with some nice wiring diagrams here to show you all the typical connections.